Welcome Northeast Conference fans to the NEC Overtime Podcast. My name is Adrian Barajas and I am a communications assistant at the Northeast Conference. Today we are pleased to be joined by FDU All-American and track and field student athlete Salif Mane, a sophomore from the Bronx who has made quite a name for himself in the triple jump and long jump during the indoor season. Thank you, Salif, for joining us today. Thank you. We're going to all your school, conference, and national accomplishments momentarily, but I wanted to start off by asking you this first. When did you realize you had talent as a jumper? When I realized I had talent was around, so I had started track when I was like in ninth grade, so about 13. And when I realized I had talent was about the end of my sophomore year when I hit a big PR and I was the top jumper in the PSL at the moment. So I realized I can do something with track and the drums. That's amazing, man. What led you to becoming a student athlete at Fairleigh Dickinson University? After my senior year, I I had decided to go to a D2, um, Lincoln University in Missouri. And I felt like after COVID hit, I felt like I, I had, I needed a new change. So I decided to come over to FDU and be a jumper here. That is awesome to hear, man. So you were awarded 2022 NEC Indoor Track and Field Championship Co-MVP. After setting the meet record in triple jump at 16.29 meters and tying the record in long jump of seven and a half meters while taking gold in both of those events. Tell me, how do you put that experience into words? It, it was just all hard work. Um, usually the long jump was a bit of a surprise because that wasn't, that isn't my, that's my least favorite event, jumping, jumping event. And also I haven't seen progress with the long jump until I came here to FDU and I started working technically with the coaches, Coach Saw and Pete. And they got me to the point where I was able to jump over seven, two, which was be- before my PB was 712, before I came here. So to be able to jump 775 and then be awarded um, conference champ, it's it's monumental. And for the triple jump, I had always knew um, I would I would win. I had no doubt in my mind. So I was always the better triple jumper um, over long jump. So uh, to put those in words, it's just, like I said, monumental. That is amazing. And I'm sure, you know, uh, to have that confidence in your in your main event and then also to have not to expect in your least favorite jumping event to to go ahead and take gold. That's amazing, man. And you kind of did answer my next question, but I'm gonna go ahead and ask it anyways, in case you wanted to add any other extra details. So of the two events, triple and long jump, which one do you like competing in more? The triple jump. Yeah, for sure. But um, the long jump is getting up there um, soon, but I, I, I doubt it will happen, but it's the triple jump. After ranking in the top 10 nationally all season long, last month you became FDU's first All-American triple jumper with a seventh place finish in the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championship after a 16.16 mark. What was the experience like in Birmingham? And tell us what it was like going jump for jump with some of the best in the nation. It felt great. Uh, to go with it and be my first national meet. Um, it's a blessing. Um, I knew I knew I can. I was actually ranked tied for 11th. So me coming in, I had to try to secure my spot into the top eight. Um, so it was either people had bad days or I had to jump good. And for the meet, some some people did have bad days. So it was it was a win win for me. And I still came out there and I still competed and to go against the top jumpers in the country and some in the world. It's a great experience. Awesome, man. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. All right, next. Moving into the outdoor season now, what is your preparation like moving forward in order to maintain and exceed what you have already accomplished? The preparation, um, I just got to listen to my coaches, um, Coach Saul, Coach Pete. Uh, Coach Pete is working with the running and Coach Saul is with the jumps. So I just got to um, work on things that I've seen in indoor that were were my faults and I got to work on it and I would say also like just basically working harder 
um, I know where I know where I stand now, and I know what I'm capable of, um, based on the meat from Alabama, and I just know that me personally, I would I would exceed my goals. That's that's really what I want is to exceed my goals, and to also bring an NEC championship to FDU. Love to hear that, and good luck to you in that process. Thank you. Have you set new goals for the outdoor season? Would you care to share, or is this something we're gonna have to wait and see? All my goals were were set from the jump, from the seat when the season started. So it doesn't matter if it was indoor or outdoor, the goals still maintain the same. Um, personally, I don't I don't share my goals, so it would you would just have to wait and see. Awesome, and we're excited to see, man. Thank you. As a sophomore, still young in your career, you have already reached incredible heights. Describe what the support is like around you and the role of the coaching staff has played in getting you to this point. Um, like I said, for the coaching staff, um, Coach Saul and Coach Pete, Coach Pete and also Coach Lee, they helped me mentally, prepared me mentally and physically. Um, I had new Coach Saul back then, so me, me and Coach Saul really had a relationship prior to FDU, and um, it's, it's, it's good to have a coach like Coach Saul and Pete and Coach Lee just to be there for me. And even though when pressure pressure can be high, um, they're still there to give me motivation. For the team, you know, you know, we have our own group chat and stuff, and they just give me some motivation and tell me what, what I can and can do. Um, just the support around it from everybody is just – it's just great. I'm glad to hear you have them behind your back, man. That's awesome to have. And then uh, what motivates you to perform at the level you are performing at right now? My motivation is my family. Um, most, most definitely my mom, my brothers, my sister, and my father. Those are my motivation. You know, I think about them every day. And uh, the goal is just to just to leave where we are now and just and just go to a better place that's awesome man i'm sure you're making every single one of those people back at home very proud keep it up all right so let's get to know you a little bit better salif so tell us when you're back home in the bronx where are you stopping to eat there's a deli by my house it's uh -huh. called omega food and i usually go there to get a lot of people know a chopped cheese or uh -huh. um turkey bacon egg and cheese nice yeah all right, so at Fairleigh Dickinson University, tell us what you are studying. Oh, right? uh, I'm studying civil engineering. That is awesome, man. Do you have any future uh, career um, options that you want to pursue, or are you just running with uh, which, what you've been exposed to right now? Um, actually, I plan on after I plan on going to grad school for construction management. So I would like to be a construction manager in the end. Awesome. And good luck to you in your academic career, too. Thank you. OK, who and where do you spend most of your time on campus? I spend most of my time with uh, my two friends, my friends, uh, Danny. You have Danny Taj, uh, Chanel, Chantel, Siobhan, uh, my roommate, who is Siobhan, and Tycho. There's Akko. I spend most of my time with them, mainly. And where on campus do you spend most of your time? Well, most of my time is spent on the track also with them and in each other's room. That's me nice. playing video games and stuff like that. Awesome. Awesome. Salif, go ahead and tell us who your role model is and who do you idolize? I wouldn't say I idolize anybody, but my role model would be there's a jumper called Will Clay and Christian Taylor. I look up to them as they are the top jumpers in the world. And I just look up to them. Awesome, awesome. Okay, what are two things you must have while traveling as a student athlete? Oh, uh, my spikes and, and my laptop. Those are the two things. Two things, nice. Spikes yeah, and if, the laptop. Yep, and if we're staying over, it might be my, my game system. Nice, nice. What game system? Uh, PlayStation 4. Nice, nice. Okay. What makes FDU a great place to be a track and field student athlete? For, for the track side, it will be the coaches. You know, we got a great system here. You know, we got great athletes. And the more it's, it's, it's tough, but 
the system works and you you would see a lot of PRs and, and personal best over here. And as for being a student athlete on campus, my experience was it's just it's just normal life, you know. It's just going to class, um, and hanging out with friends. Really, that's it. Great. And this is the last question I have for you. So finally, what does Salif Mane want to be known for? I want to be known for just no just more than track. Uh, you know, I, I also want I do want to be known for breaking records and stuff like that and having great achievements, but. I just want to be known as a, a good person, you know, to Salif. I just want to be known as Salif. That's it. That's a great answer. I actually love that answer, Salif. Thank you, Salif, for spending time with us today and representing FDU and the Northeast Conference so well. Best of luck to you in the outdoor season. This has been FDU sophomore student athlete Salif Mane. Thanks for listening to the Northeast Conference Overtime Podcast. We'll see you next time.